just got you feeling too much It's feeling too much for you And all my love is gonna dance with someone Someone who shows love not to you is up huskies it's your boy allegro we're back casting the niu overwatch team i'm joined here by bk zero mr ethan what is up niu yes you're kicking off the season yep this is the first overwatch game of the season i am now an overwatch player <laughs> i'm no longer a valorant <laughs> player so this is my team now let's and go ethan let's is go. ethan is our Secondary flex support. Yes. Serving us well in our uh, double flex support comps and whenever Jamie's gone. Filling 
We're trying to get into the lobby here. Let me see if I can get an invite from anyone. Right to get to this. This is going to be a interesting match. Northeastern historically has been a really strong program, so yeah, especially in Overwatch. I'm not sure if it was the same for you all in Valorant. It definitely was. They were a top yeah. three team. Both yeah, teams they're also thing. Yeah, they're also a top three team for us in Overwatch. So this will definitely be a hard one for the Huskies, but I think we can do it. Yeah, this will be a hard one. We have almost an identical roster from last year. I'm the only new player this year. Um, we've lost Toko Toro. Mr. Austi stepping up right now. But I will be switching out. Perhaps Ethan will be switching out. Um, whoever Whoever's out, basically, is going to be casting this game because we don't have a real caster. <laughs> so this is going to be chalked cast. Overwatch casters, we're yeah. looking for you. Dang, I wish the second monitor was working right now. <laughs> so I could have this on the other screen. That'd be Great. fantastic. Let me restart it. I'm gonna turn I'm gonna literally turn it on. Turn it off and then back on again. Here we go. Moment of truth. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Oh my gosh. We won. We're him. The casters won, guys. We are them. On gosh. Okay. Looks like we will be getting into it in a second. Oh, I gotta fix my game cap. Of course it doesn't work. Oh, of course it works now. As soon as I tab out, go fix it. <laughs> okay, uh, let's reset our scores here. Alright, cool. Zero, zero. We're here kicking it off at Lijong. Yep, Lijong Tower. Tower. I heard we're playing, uh, I missed practice last week because I was on vacation. So tell me, um, what kind of stuff were we cooking up? I heard rumors of brawl getting we've been cooking up, up yes we've been cooking up a lot of brawl especially for tower and night market for gardens we have been cooking up dive some doom fist the usual nothing too new nothing too out of the blue for us but are if we we're starting now, tower, are we playing uh with the brawl are we playing like the rom rush kind of we've been doing ram rush we've been doing rom rush okay. so we can expect to see racer on the ram, probably for the DPS, probably going to be expecting Soj May, if I had to take a guess. And then, like, Kiri Lucio or Baff Lucio. Understandable. Why is this not lighting up? This is triggering. Hello? Okay. Wait, we're cook. Oh, I'm a little hot now. Wait, Ethan, talk. Yo. Talk more. Yo, 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 yo. Okay, there we go. We're cooking now. Let's go. All it's right. just, it's too easy. Here, you control spec. I'll do my thing. Don't mind my crosshair. Elite level crosshair. And <laughs> the invisible ROM bullets. <laughs> All right, so. All right, so we're here just poking out, trying to get a feel. Just looking for opening picks as the point is still waiting to open up. Yeah, Northeastern taking a lot of aggressive space early with the off angle from Genji. And now you looking just to get early control of the point with them coming open. I think we're going to get first cap here. Yeah, Genji and Lucio taking off angle space, though. So Gage is going to come in from Northeastern. Frisco finds Flip Flop early in the fight. Finds another onto Flawless. Racer's able to find the trade. This might be winnable for NIU, but it's going to be rough. Still flip. Racer's going to fall. That's going to be the fight. Hold on, I'm actually oh. going to turn down the game. Oh yeah, that's probably the issue. We'll turn it down to like, there. That should be good. Alright, and I use on their way back. Clean first fight from Northeastern, getting set up here on these angles. Yeah, they're looking, NIU looking to try and clear this Lucio and Sojourn from right side just to keep keep off some of the pressure. Just to be able to push in and actually look for their own picks and their right setups. Yeah, Racer is getting real low here. Good util onto Junker Queen here, but not able to find enough pressure and damage to kill her. Able to find Lucio, but not early enough. 
Yeah, and I you fight. finally able to find a kill there, but it's just too much time for the enemy DPS to get too much space and deal too much damage. Yeah, they need to either start locking in on those supports or locking in on the DPS, looking for their opening pick and seeing what they can snowball from there. Coming out main this time. Looking to just rotate around to support, or to point. Kiriko ult comes out from northeastern. There goes Queen ult. And I use able to bait out two key ults there. With that, that one fight. And they're coming up on all five of their ults. Yeah. With some right ult uh, cycling, I, they could definitely still flip this. I think I would. I would like to see this fight initiated with a beat trade because Northeastern's win condition is going to be that blade or that Sojourn ult. Yeah. And there it is. And I use kiting it. That was a pop out. Blizzard. I think NIU just gave up on the foul. We were at 99. <laughs> I couldn't see the, the box one. because okay, okay, Connor. When I was when I was putting the overlay, <laughs> the thing was like black and there was a lot of space. So I just thought that was the box, and I put the number there. But now that I'm in game, I see that there's in fact not the box there. So now it's kind of chalked. But anyway, <laughs> we're coming here into control center. Looking to sw oh, not even changing things up. Staying on the same same comp. Yeah, I think NIU needed to be more proactive there because we had the massive alt advantage going into that fight. They only yeah. had they only had B and Soj alt and Genji alt. Like, I think I think we just could have been more proactive there. We were trying to just rotate point and be a little more reactive. Yeah, looking for those early ults, being yeah. more aggressive, can definitely throw the enemy team off. NIU taking control of white early. Flawless is looking at the yeah. Kiriko right now. Versus TP out early. NIU kind of all stacked in white right now. I think they're looking for an ISO target to go in. I run would like on. to see an off angle here from the, the Sojourn. Looking back, both teams still just poking out. Yeah. Enemies Genji is kind of doing what I, what I want Aussie to do, but what Flawless is doing and he gets picked on his off angle. So Northeastern's gonna engage off of it. They kill Lucille, they could look to make this even again. Or Soj. They have a lot of people low right now. Austi almost finds two, but unable to finish off either one. Uh -oh. Unlucky fight there from NIU. Yeah, I think I think Flawless really just needs to stack up more with Racer and let Austi do more of these off angle plays right now. Yeah, that two man like front on the queen yeah. will just be too much for her, too much pressure. Surely they have to back down. Big headshot from Flawless. Not able to capitalize off of it. Wait. Can they find Maybe? Oh. Northeastern coming into this fight with a Kiri ultimate. No other ultimates online. There, there it the goes. Two and you only oh yeah. And you falls down three. That's a quick and quick and clean fight from Northeastern just with yeah. Kiri ult. Just Swift, and they're still coming up on four, on four ults. We're also coming up on ults, though. We're almost at four as well. Looking to have beaten window at least. Can definitely get ram ult and overclocked by at least mid fight. Well, you know, it comes out fast. Queen finding too, but Queen it's still trades. even for, yeah. for NIU. Still winnable. Genji falls. It's a 2v2. Queen. Never mind. Oh, the flip flop falls. Aussie finding the sojourn. Queen still won. Definitely, NIU can still get this. I think NIU is going to be able to take point here. That was a now, nice alt from Aussie to clean up the fight there. Really good ult. Missed a few shots, but it worked out. Not the cleanest fight from NIU, but. It is certainly it a fight. Done. Yeah, it is they certainly got, a fight. We got point now. <laughs> That's all we needed. They're setting up Aussie here on this off angle on the high ground. Yes. Aussie just needs to make sure that he's careful of looking out for boops or whoever might push him. Oh, they need Blade to find this kill out. on Sojourn. Able to negate the blade, but their beat comes in late. Yeah. 
that late beat, they force our beat with the blade, and then their own beat kind of reignites the, oh, and the then spark. And going to fall again. It's a great fight from Northeastern there. We weren't able to punish the Sojourn sliding in. Yeah. This last fight is going to be tough for NIU, because as we push in, they're probably going to end up popping the Soul Jolt. Yeah. To definitely try and keep us back, but then they're also going to build up Queen ult and Kiri ult, probably mid-fight. So it's just going to be a very tough retake for NIU here. Yeah, NIU coming into this fight, swapping to the mirror comp to try and take things more aggressive. Racer falls Fall is early, trying though. to find Sojourn here. He finds her. It's a even, it's still even right now. NIU is down their tank, but it's still winnable. Yeah, flawless. Trying to trying, to, trying to make something happen, but I'm just gonna find it. Racer back on the ball, looking for just a stall, maybe. Yeah. No. Unfortunate. <laughs> Northeastern looked really dominant that map. Yeah. Which, I mean, like I said, they have a strong program, so. Uh. They do, but NIU yeah. definitely wasn't going down without a fight. Yeah, I'd like to see us. I, I think we're already panicking a little bit. I want to see us chill out a little bit more and just go back to playing our game. Yeah. It, they felt that map, they at least, they started getting their footing more. Yeah. Well, we got a point flip compared to, like, the first map. Yeah. We weren't able to flip, but they definitely started finding their footing. We just weren't maintaining it. But I think we can still do this. Yeah, I think I think the three like main areas we're getting beat right now is like managing queen aggression, managing these off angles, and then uh the alt cycles, I think. <coughs> Cuz they're really just sitting there waiting for their Genji or Sojourn to find some sort of like like threat on an off angle and then engaging off of that. Um hold up. We got to hit him with the Or update. Yeah, hit him with that. There we go. <laughs> it's too easy. We're going. We're looking to start going into the next map pretty soon. Connor, it looks like we I would move it between Kings games, but I'd have to move every number, <laughs> and that is annoying. So I'm gonna wait to do that. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah. Dominant first map from Northeastern. Unfortunate loss from NIU. Yeah, but as we're coming in here for the next map, I think NIU, I think we're still keeping our idea of wanting to push this brawl or even feeling nice to see what we're going to run because it looks like we're possibly going to King's Row for next map, I think is what NIU is choosing, at least is what we're hovering over right now. Yeah. And there it is, the infamous Chris, uh, Christmas question mark. Yeah, from coming out from King's flip flop. <laughs> the the Christmas question mark. And it looks like Christmas has come early this year. Yes, we are on the Christmas version. Let's go. It's time to get Holly Jolly. It is. We just had our Culver's. <laughs> we are set. We're cooking. We're so back. We're so back. We take them to Wisconsin. These Boston kids can't <laughs> hang. These Boston kids can't hang, I'm telling you. They can't. Don't mind the fact that they're technically, like, more north than us. <laughs> they still can't hang. Trust. They're not. They're also closer like to like huskies. London, where this map is supposed to be. <laughs> but all good. So we are gonna get into the King's Row here. And I use starting off on defense this time. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look to at least some scrims for us. I know we usually look to try and hold strong, and I feel like that's probably what they're gonna be looking for here. Just hold out, shut them out. Hopefully for at least first point. Look for something easy. Yeah. Hopefully NIU just starts to get some momentum here. I mean... Yep. We really just need to continue getting our feet on the ground and... 
Oh, I was wrong. I lied entirely. And I used starting off on attack. Oh my gosh, you're a liar. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, guys. We're starting on the same brawl comp that we saw before. I think NIU is feeling pretty comfortable on the brawl. Yeah, I mean, we've been scrimming it for the last week or so. We have. But, again, there were some things we need to keep in mind. I think against Queen, we need to be playing more for a second engagement. At least baiting things like Axe and Shout. Yeah. When she has those. When she has those out, it'll be definitely easier to melt her down. Because if she has Shout... You know, she just gets her extra health. Ooh, and unfortunately, Austi found out early. Yeah. Northeastern's looking to clean it up here. And are you backing up? Yeah. Not trying to lose anyone else. Flip Flop also fell somewhere. Yeah, unfortunate early death there from Austi. From the Kiriko. He just got domed. Flip Flop. Okay, we're swapping to the clean cop already. Swaps. We swapped to Genji too. Okay, so we're back to the mirror. The whole team needs to go to work now. Yep. I think NIU feels pretty comfortable in this mirror, too. I know Flawless, usually at practice, feels pretty confident on his Genji. Wow. Austi found out early oh, yeah. again. Austi gets caught on that rotate with, with Jill, with Hayes. Yeah. They went for the rotator on the right side together to try and clear out the Sojourn, and he just got deleted like as soon as he jumped out the window. Yeah. Matching, bo matching boo. I'm good. Thank you, though. <laughs> this is a uh, state institution. We got, we got plenty of people. That's a bot. I'm just kidding. I'm talking to no <laughs> one. But still, I get those in my chat all the time. Thank you, Connor. Was that supposed to be Majin Boo, but, like, not Majin Boo? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Aussie, able to take this off angle this time. He gets slurbed off by the enemy sojourn. NIU has angles right now. Yeah, NIU's applying some good pressure. There goes the rush from Northeastern. Oh, NIU loses their tank and their flex support. Hopefully the other two can get out before getting yeah. found out. I, I almost think NIU rotated the wrong way there, maybe. Maybe we needed to push forward into them because their carry out was placed in a way where... If we kite, they can still just use the carry alt. Mm -hmm. I almost think we maybe should have just walked. Yeah. But it's all good. Austi and Jill mm -hmm. getting set up on this flank angle again, it looks like. Yep, looking to go through the window. <laughs> they still have to They have to deal with the Kiri and Sozar holding the ledge to get through. Early alts come out from Northeastern. Oh, now you unfortunately falls. Yeah, game. Hedwig finds three big kills with his ult. And I use coming up on some pretty big ults themselves, though. We're about to have Queen ult and Dragon Blade. I think those are going to be two pretty strong ones for us to be able to take a good fight here. Agreed. Use the Queen ult, weaken them up some, find a pick, and see if we can flip the blade out. And I you running a counter blade. It's even, and I use actually up one now. Yeah, Flawless finds Lucio and an assist on the other two as well, so. Nope. Kiri, they force a TP out of Kiri. Racer falls. Oh. I don't know if NIU, NIU might be able to get a tick. Oh, no. Any uh, Northeastern tank is here now. I don't think NIU is going to be able to get any progress going on point now. Yeah. I think that was a little bit of a misplay there. Going into this last fight, and I he's gonna have to take it fast. Maybe this Doomfist. We have beaten Soul Jolt. I think right now NIU has a slight upper hand yeah. with the ult. Rush will be big, but NIU is coming up. They'll have beat to at least keep themselves up, and they'll have Aussie's ult on Sojourn to try and look for some picks with some big bursts. Sashi finds Aussie early kill in the in the fight. Flawless looking for the kill on Lucio, unable to find it. Flip Flop falls. Find it. Flawless falls. And that's going to be the, the round for NIU. Yeah, I almost think chasing the, the Sojourn and Kiri there was not the play because they can just continue to back up and shoot at you while they do, as opposed to just 
rotating point, and then they have to fight you on yeah. point. I think just forcing them to fight you when you're up numbers is probably the better play. But yeah. it was a valiant attempt. That was a definitely a, a better round from NIU, despite the full hold. Yeah, they definitely, I feel they like... looked more cohesive. It, it, there was just a couple fights where Austin just got absolutely domed by half, yeah. half their team at the same time. Yeah, Austin died like two fights back to back. The first one, I know we weren't looking at it, but uh, the Kiri found him. Kiri, I think, probably like two tapped him. Just two tapped him out. And then the Lucio got him the following one. Yeah. And just dying early like that can definitely be... I think they just they just had Lucio passively just they, holding the window mm. and, like, booping them to mess up their timing. Disjoint yeah. the attack. But, yeah, like you said, NIU definitely started feeling a lot... At least it felt from watching that they started feeling a lot better there about their rush. They were definitely... once I feel like once they swapped to the mirror, they were definitely definitely filling themselves a lot more yeah <laughs> hopefully we get to see some more some more of this brawl strength here now that we're playing may on king's road defense like this is like maybe one of the strongest character map combinations ever yeah like oh Flawless. they're on maga they're on Ma oh they're on maga, maga sim bastions stuff. they're gonna be doing some interesting, interesting tp looking stuff looking for some tp stuff yeah, yeah. Hmm. Moira too. This might be a bit hard for Flawless because I know one of the things they're probably going to want to do is look for that wall and choke. Northeastern just immediately looks to take over Hotel. That aggressive control of point. They have so many angles already. Yeah. Osti's able to Austin's find able a able trade. To find the Moira. Oh. Osti find almost finds Bap as well. Looking for Bap and Soch, but unfortunately Racer and Flawless have both fell. Yeah. Osti tries to make it happen, but just not enough. No, nope. unfortunate second map as well. It'll be 2-0 Northeastern. Yeah, I think that was just that was just a tough map for us. I think. Yeah. They just hit shots on their defense and then came out on the comp we just weren't ready for as just kind of a wipe. Yeah, I know one thing that, like I was saying, that could have threw NIU for a loop is I know, like, for example, Flawless is going to want to look for those walls at the King's Row choke just to call out a target because easily the brawl can just collapse on them. Essentially just a free pick, but throwing in that Symmetra in there just a play that I feel like a lot of people usually aren't used to. I know even when we're scrimming, we're so used to running against another brawl. Yeah. We scrim Kent State a lot, and they are uh, very habitual brawl players. Yeah. I, even though I have heard rumors <laughs> that they are messing with dive, <laughs> but I've also heard dot. I've also heard that they played brawl in their first match. Interesting. So I'm not quite sure what to expect. Maybe they're playing. Uh, maybe they're playing dive against us. We play them on Tuesday. Maybe they're playing dive against us, and they just don't want to show their hand because they know we, we already know how to play against their brawl. Mm. Or maybe they are just actually playing brawl. Maybe they gave dive a go and didn't like it, so now they're playing brawl again. They're being but mysterious. either way, Kent is very, very good at their brawl. So mm. that's gonna be an in interesting matchup. Yeah, and we're here. Looks like NIU chose their next map. For those who don't know, after uh, the loser of the round gets to choose the next map. So NIU, it's looking like we chose to go to Suravasa between the two um, the two Flashpoint maps. Thank you for the Prime subscription, Mr. Brewer's Piplup Slugger. We appreciate. Oh, that's, um, I think that's Alex. Is it? Maybe. Did he change his name? Maybe. But thank you for the prime. If that's Alex, Dad, <laughs> please come home. <laughs> please come back. We miss you. I don't want the milk anymore. 
I think, oh boy. I think for this new map, MIE is going to be, again, just sticking to what we've been trying to do, the brawl, we'll probably see a variation of that, like, Sojourn, like, Sojourn, Genji, Ram, Kiri, Lucio brawl we've just been seeing. Yeah. For this point, again, Servas is definitely pretty good for that. Yeah, I think I'm a little bit interested to see what's going to happen here because historically we've struggled with Flashpoint like mm -hmm. a lot. Um, I want to say especially this map, but the only other map is New Junk City, which we struggle with even more. So like, it's not especially this map. <laughs> New Junk <laughs> City just all is of them. so bad. It's just, I don't know. I feel like our rotations are questionable at times mm. I, I feel like rotations are super super important in this game mode yeah they definitely are especially with the faster rate of yeah. it I, th I think i think a lot of people try to play this like control but the way the map's laid out you have so many more options than that yeah just because of how open it is yeah like thinking about it like control is like good for starters but like once you actually get in there and start like with just how much faster pace, like I was saying, like the tick rates and stuff are. Yeah, exactly. You definitely, you realize really fast that you can't play as slow as you can with control. How do you, pr how do you pronounce that name? Said so go flawless aerial. Is that, I want, okay. It looks like Colo Wolo, but I feel like it's Koyo Woyo. <laughs> like unironically, I think that might be it. I might be hard reading it. Racer, go racer 59. That's definitely someone they know from some Overwatch, like, has to be. hang or league or something. But indeed, let's go. It looks like teams are, are possibly, hopefully, looking. We're to just, start. yeah, I think they're taking, like, bio or, like, a mental reset or something. Probably taking a second for boss man. To tell them, you know, reviewing what, like, they did, what they felt good about, definitely. <laughs> and just seeing what they can find, do differently, do a bit stronger, you know? Yeah. Agreed. Just trying to make something happen here. Did they have a swap that I didn't notice? Was it scoop in um, for Um, Yes, and I think possibly two of their players swapped these two. Were f got flipped, but I don't know if they swapped roles. <laughs> but those two, I think, got flipped. Unless I'm going crazy. But, yeah. Well, Shashi was the Genji, I think. Frisco, I think, was the tank player. Yeah. Unless I'm tripping. I don't remember. Sco okay, but Scoop's got the... He subbed out for the DPS player. The hitscan DPS. Yeah. And he's maybe. got the Widowmaker icon. Yeah, maybe we're But like no him. way he plays Widowmaker <laughs> on Servasa. Surely. 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 Looks like they could have put in, like, a role player or something that they might have. Yeah, exactly. Mm, They're trying to fake us out. <laughs> also, what is this? Like, we got, like, two different themes going on on the <laughs> NIU team. Like, what the heck is this? For those of you who don't know, we all try to match player cards. So that's why I got the little duckling. <laughs> Mr. Fergot's got the ghost because there's only five of them. And Flip Flop also uses the ghost. Austy got the... Is that a cat or a panda? I can't tell. I don't know. With the headphones. <laughs> and all of us had it before, but for World Cup, we all switched to to countries, and I guess these two just didn't get the memo that we swapped back. So now we're, no like, split, knew. and Jill is just on the anniversary <laughs> stuff. And Jill's real for that. Yeah. This is so real. I, I love the anniversary profile pictures. They're great. I used to main the Bastion one. Nice. But then I joined the team, and Jamie and I started the matching thing, mm -hmm. and she was using the Bastion Bird, so I just switched to the normal Bastion one instead of the Anniversary Bastion one. Okay. So we had the Bastion and the Bird. But then we swapped to full team matching. Maybe this says something. Maybe <laughs> us all being on different player icon themes is, is the problem. We're not on the same wing like for it. That's exactly what I'm saying, the walker zombie. <laughs> you know how Jacob or you know how Coach forgot is for his his yap sessions. 
Yeah, he is doing a yap session. They're probably getting scrim water too, except it's not even a scrim. <laughs> match water. Yeah, match water. Yep. <laughs> Interested to see what NIU has planned for this one. Maybe we'll just throw the brawl out the window and go back to our normal stuff. Honestly, yeah. I think it'd be fun if we just like did some complete like random stuff. Yeah. Like not like a nonsensical comp, but like stuff we're good at. Yeah. Like if <laughs> imagine <laughs> imagine we go like a pharmacy with like like doom dive with pharmacy on this map. Like that'd be wild. It would be wild, but I feel like if we get the right like point rotations, I feel like it's something that could work cuz I know that's a comp we're comfortable with. And actually, I was going to say, I'm kind of surprised that we didn't um, try it on our King's Row attack. Because I know sometimes in scrim, yeah, in scrims when we're like, oh, you know, we don't want to do the, uh, we don't want to try like the brawler, like the rush into an enemy team. So we'll go with like one of our comps, you know, we're a little bit more comfortable with. Yeah. <laughs> we have played a little bit of the Doom. Yeah, I would like to see, I would like to see the Doom. And Flawless is known for Racer for to come out. Wallace is known for his Farah, as well as his Genji. Mm -hmm. They had we had a bathroom goer apparently. For those of you who didn't see, uh. <laughs> someone took their first Spanish class. Okay, I know you're talking about me <laughs> saying Coyo Woyo, but I've never taken a Spanish class in my life. Unironically, what the new junk. Oh. Okay, so I was right. We do especially struggle on Suravasa. That's oh. crazy. Wow. They're just both awful, though. So, like, mid-city. I agree. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's, like, under the world, though, because it's in Australia. So, like, yeah. it's technically at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> and in Overwatch, it's not even like anyone's there. Who? Yeah, exactly. Who's even there? I don't think I s I've seen a single house in New <laughs> Junk City, like, now that I think about it. It's because Noah, who wants to live in New Junk City? I feel like it's only the, like, five houses that we get to play on in uh, Junker Town. And then it's like, whatever. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we got this. We Easy got reverse R's. sweep. R. Easy reverse sweep incoming. Easy. Oh, okay. I didn't even get to answer Broad R. <laughs> I can't type now. Oh, yes, I can. There we go. We're always ready. We got our little. We got our little. Oh, I can't move. I'm an Overwatch player, but only freshly. Wait, this is a stage? Yeah, oh it's, for the, it's for the announcer of the, uh, whatchamacallit? Of the arena. Yo, let me up here. Yo, I'm trying to play a gig up here. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a jazz major. For those of you who don't know, okay, this is what I'm looking for. I was gonna do an opening for the Junker Town games. All right, we're coming out on the mirror, except yeah. they're on brawl this time. <laughs> we try to meet them. We just tried to meet them. And meet now they're on brawl. I don't know why. I just thought about uh, like the whole unstoppable force versus immovable object thing mm -hmm. and it reminded me of this meme I saw about like the bears when they played like the Packers <laughs> or whatever and someone said it's about to be m movable object versus stoppable force <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it was the funniest thing anyway Northeastern applying some early pressure they're playing yeah obviously gets early positioning with the combination of Lucio speed and Symmetra TP yeah and I or Aussie looking right now to take over this right off angle. Definitely apply some pressure since that Ryan is just going to keep holding up that shield. He's going to be able to charge some shots, but, you know, they won't be able to really find an early pick. Flawless, unfortunately, found out first. NIU definitely having some of the enemy team weak. Aussie, big Aussie, pick on the Frisco. Saves Brandon's life. Saves Racer's life. The Maywall only stalls the inevitable. Yes, if they can stabilize here, they can definitely flip it. The enemy team is down there. Ryan which will probably be the one of the bigger components of this brawl that they have going. 
even though this May is stalling out the point yeah, really good needs right to clear now. This bat, Ryan made it back and Bat pops ult. They probably they'll be able to find Bat here. Flip flop popping a rush. Whoa. There goes Shatter, but unfortunately he misses. Austi finds the Reinhardt again. Fighting for his life in the corner. Yeah, able and are you able to find a flip though? And oh. they're coming up on a decent amount of ults. Definitely, definitely gonna be able to get this out as long as they are able to cycle these ults and just do a good rotation of them. And I, you can definitely go to 100% easily for this first point. Oh, okay. So I guess a Rhine mirror was offered and then lied about by Racer59. Uh, so. There goes Queen Rush and Aussie have popped overclocked. So Metro Final Wall one. comes out from Northeastern. Aussie almost able to find carry, but she TPs out. B comes yeah. out from NIU and it hits everyone. There's the Blizzard. Oh. Oh. Connects with the whole team. Flip flop, I think, belt someone early there to save them. And Shashi just saw it as, you know, the perfect opportunity to pop a blizzard. Uh, if flip flop can't belt them, it's just going to be a free ult. That cleanse is huge. Yeah. Jeez. Definitely just too much pressure there on, on the bell. Yeah. And I use coming up on Blade, though. Even though Northeastern is also going to have beat to be able to counter that. But if Flawless, Flawless finding a good blade could definitely... Fl oh, and Flawless falls. Austi messes up his slide and dies. That's going to be the first point there for Northeastern. And IU with a really strong performance though. Bringing it to 96% yeah. to 99. It was close. It was close. Austi's hitting some rails right now. We're 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 cooking a little bit more. We are. <laughs> I think it's just that that first game jitters. There goes the blade. Big kill on the TP from Austi. Looking at Mayf falls. Oh, racer and falls, falls down fall. three though. Yeah, and everyone else follows. Yeah, yeah, northeastern. Fantastic idea there to take the fight so close to spawn. Yeah. In a spot that is more advantageous for them. I think, honestly, going back to what I said before the match, NIU didn't even need to push through that as soon as they see them there. They honestly mm -hmm. could have rotated the way they're rotating right now and just went around them. Yeah, meet them in the more open space. Yeah. And at least force them to back to point and take a normal fight because they have a Symmetra so they're not beating them to point but yeah at least force them to more even area Wallace just looking to find some chip damage right now see if he can find a pick I see saying back to hold this off angle pops ult looking for some plays he's able to find the Lucio and a you unfortunately down two but they were able to find one on northeastern they can definitely possibly flip this back no this queen being in oh they were able to get out blizzard though that's big yeah that is big that's a big so what is that three alts coming out from northeastern yeah a uh, fight queen alt sim wall and bliss yeah and are you coming up on queen alt unfortunately though the northeastern was at like 70 percent so uh, i don't think niu is going to be able to get to point in time to flip it yeah yet. I feel like they're going to be definitely looking a bit stronger, though, for this next point when it opens. And I think he's definitely going to have some ults that they can definitely oh, try. Dies before really. it, oh, and IU falls down to Austi and Racer both die. Unfortunate fight there from NIU. Just Racer gets walled off, and the rest of the team dies trying to help him. And Flawless is staggering himself here, which is an interesting decision. But I think he's kind of dead either way, so it doesn't really matter. Flip flop giving us a little default Overwatch spray. <laughs> it's the best spray. 
It's dinked by the May and yeah. wastes Bell for it. Yeah. Northeastern just poking right now with their May and Symmetra. Yeah. Racer gets walled. And now you can engage a little bit more safely now, knowing that. Look for the queen ult. Kiri, Kiri, I think Bell's the Bell. Yeah. Racer can possibly find the kill on maybe Sim or May. May has no ice block. Racer needs Definitely. help. Oh, though. he wasn't able to. Isolated, but two. And I was able to find two. Oh. In exchange it's even for two. Right now. Yeah, it's even. Oh. Austin falls. And now Northeastern's just got a big alt economy advantage, so this is just not looking good for NIU. Yeah, it's definitely going to be an uphill fight. Oh, they threw it. Switching to Brawl. Clean ult. Possibly a fat finger. That's or down BM. one ult, but they still, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not sure. There goes the blizzard from Northeastern. Bell comes out from flip-flop. Yeah, and then I was unfortunately yeah. not going to be able to touch. That was a good match. By it was a valiant effort. Yes. Northeastern has defeated the Northern Illinois University Huskies Esports Overwatch team. Yeah. It was a good try, though. It was a we good definitely try. tried. I feel like as we saw the game progress and the match progress, we definitely saw us feeling more comfortable. Yeah, I agree. I think I'm I'm honestly not that surprised. Yeah. But I'm also very glad to see Oh, why do we have 3? We didn't win that. <sighs> I wish. There we go. Um I'm very glad to see we still kept our performance up despite feeling like we weren't really able to do that much especially after king's row yeah um i'm glad that it shows me that the morale probably stayed high plus they were bantering in chat so yeah i'm sure the, I'm, I'm glad to see that because morale has been a thing we've struggled with in our tougher scrims so yeah it's nice to see that improvement there yeah it definitely didn't feel like there was a a slowing down of gameplay. I feel like that's something I notice in scrims is like yeah. when we start feeling bad and like the mental just gets bad. You can definitely see like people just like starting to slow down. Yeah. In but fact, at the end like we, we tried to switch down. to brawl and play even faster yeah. too. So just didn't they just forced us to slow down by May alting, unfortunately. So Yeah. But that is gonna conclude our week one match versus Northeastern. GG's Northeastern. Thank GG's you all for watching. We Thank will you see all. you guys on Tuesday. We have our League of Legends first match. I believe it's their first match. Or I is it the second one? No, I think I believe it's their first match tomorrow. It's their first match tomorrow. And I'm not sure what time. Yeah. You can figure it out. It's tomorrow. <laughs> so we will see you all later.